Okay, so the boy just got up for a nap. What I want to do is take, I want to take 20 minutes. I want to focus on these cabinets and the sink face. So I'm going to clear everything out of these cabinets. I'm going to clean out the cabinets, organize, clean off this counter, and then put up some of the things I just got off Amazon. I'm trying to make going to the bathroom more self-sufficient for the boys so that like when Steven comes in here to go to the bathroom, he can step up on the stool, reach the soap because I got like an automatic soap. I'll show you everything. But anyways, this is what I want to focus on cleaning. These three cabinets, this. Um, so let me show you the before because I can't really station this anywhere for you to see. But like, it's a mess. It's a mess. So I need to just clean out all of these, clean off the counter, clean off the shelves, organize, and then clean this and set this up. So I'm going to set my timer for 20 minutes. I will come back and I'll show you what I've accomplished. Okay, I have five minutes to spare. I put all my hair stuff over here because I keep other hair stuff in this drawer. Toothpaste stuff is getting ready to be dealt with. Extra stuff, extra stuff. Uh, in the middle I have my face wash, extra products, my teeth whitening stuff. And then over here we just have medical contact extra stuff. So. Now that all that's clean, I also went ahead and cleaned off my entire sink basin. Now I'm going to set out the stuff I got from Amazon. Yes, I'm sweating because I was going very fast. <laughs> okay, this entire little area probably took me about 30, oh, I'm sweating, <laughs> 30 minutes to get under control, but let me show you. All right, so I now have this, and I just, I got some of this at the grocery store, this dial, Foamy antibacterial hand soap at Walmart. So it does take, sorry I'm shaking. This takes four AA batteries and you just push the top. Um, hold on. So like when it's blue like that, that means it's on. Boom. And then it stops so that way it gives you like the appropriate amount. And then I just put my lotion next to it. But that's amazing. And then here is the little caddy. So I put each of their toothbrushes on one side so they each get a cup and in the back I put my toothbrush and toothpaste because Josh brushes his teeth downstairs. And then this, so you just put your toothpaste in. See this little lip right here? Push with your toothbrush. Bam, a little dollop of toothpaste. How amazing is that? That took me a second to figure out, I won't lie. Didn't take me too long, but definitely took me a second. But yeah, look how nice this looks now. So we've got our soap, lotion, boys toothpaste, cups, toothbrushes, and then I ordered a new stool because I do have this one, but I ordered one that's a two-stepper and also has um, handles on either side so that they can help themselves up easier onto the toilet and also help themselves up so that they can reach all the way up to this and to the toothpaste and the soap. So that will be here Wednesday. But, oh my gosh, look how nice. 30 minutes, we got that accomplished. So now I'm gonna sit down and drink some water and <laughs> Find me something for lunch. Now, next time I want to set 30 minutes and do these cabinets down here because I have this contraption to put together for toilet paper and pads. I have those if I need to. So, this section down here and these messed up drawers will be the next three seconds. The, the only other thing I need up here is like a little dish with a cloth. So that I can wipe down this sink at the end of the day. I think this will be all nice and organized. Welcome to day, I don't know what, of me trying to get my life together. I'm going to hurry and put this together before the boys go down for a nap. They are eating their snacks. So, uh, as you've seen previously, I got my bathroom kind of like organized and revamped. And um, I guess you could say I streamlined the bathroom. Well... I'm trying to take that little by little and think about what 
I could do to how am I gonna say like take the pressure off my mind of remembering everything. And one of the issues I tend to have is with laundry because I'm very blessed to have a laundry chute and I do appreciate that because it keeps the clutter like out of where you're actually like living. But on the other side, it also I'm a proponent of out of sight, out of mind. So once those clothes go down the chute, I'm like, I forget all about them um, until I'm like absolutely desperate for new clean clothes. Like usually socks. I'll be like, man, I got no more socks. And then I'll be like, oh yeah, I need to do laundry. So then I walk downstairs and I just see this massive load of laundry that I haven't touched. And it almost overwhelms me to know that I have that much laundry that I need to take care of. And so then that kind of puts me off because I'm like, oh, I don't have the energy to deal with this large task. So I was thinking, how could I minimize that and do like little bits at a time? So for, sorry, as I'm trying to open it, for my bathroom, I decided to get this. Um, I thought for like me, the boys, and our socks, um that this could be a good system for now. Uh, as the boys get older, it may change because obviously they're going to have more clothes, which means they're going to need, you know, a larger basket or they each may get one of these of their own so I can separate like underwear, jeans, um, ni nice shirts, play clothes, you know what I mean? So this system may evolve um, as they get older. But for right now, this is where we're going to start. So I'm going to assemble this. And my hope is that by being able to see the laundry, that I can look at it and be like, okay, today you need to do this load for the boys. Or today you need to do this load. Or just basically being able to see it and not have it be out of sight, out of mind to where it becomes overwhelming. I'm hoping that this will make the task of washing laundry more manageable. Also... Another step that I've taken to try to order my life is when I did my laundry, I actually took some shirts and some pants and folded them together to make an outfit. Now this purple doesn't match exactly. I wish I had this color blue actually now that I've seen it and they had this color blue at Walmart, um, but it's, it's close enough. It's good enough to get the job done. So I did that for like four or five outfits. So that each day when I get up and I want to get dressed, I don't have to think at that point. I can just grab and go. Because honestly, this is kind of the stay-at-home mom attire right now. It's a t-shirt and some stretchy pants. Because I'm cleaning, I'm organizing, I'm going outside to play with them. The fact that I have these outfits ready to go makes me more inclined to get dressed, to brush my hair. Which even brushing my hair, look, I actually fixed it. I did a little poof and a little bun makes me feel more motivated to even do more things so fake knuckle cracking sound let's or let's build this sucker
Ah, all right, she's all done. Now, something else I've done is on the sides, added these little mesh bags so I could put socks in. So this one's for the boys, and then I have one for my socks for the other side. So I'm gonna go put this in my bathroom and I will show it to you later. Another step in getting my life organized was that I purchased um, magnetic chore charts for the boys. I actually let them pick them out. Okay, so I mean there, it's a full on magnet. Here is Weston's, got him the little dump truck, backhoe digger, whatever they're called. He honestly knows. Um, so this is going to be Wessie's. And then I also ordered a superhero one for Steven. Steven wanted that one. I asked him out of three and he said he wanted the superhero. So that is what he got now. All right, I've seen a bunch of the comments say not to use the markers that came with it. I don't know if that's true or not, but I went ahead and ordered these colorful ones. So I'll probably let them pick what color they want to use. Um, but it also comes with tips for erasing your chore chart. So what I liked about this was at the side, it has a point system for every chore that they do. It says, decide reward and point, point goal. Fill in the reward in goal box. Put a check mark in the box when your child completes a chore. Add up the total points earned. If the goal is achieved, they earn the reward. So as the kids get older, they can choose their reward. For now, what I'm going to do is get like some type of box if I can find like a treasure chest or something and fill it with stuff from the dollar store or little prizes or books or whatever I find and their reward is going to be the treasure chest and so um I don't know I'm not for sure all the kinks um as of right yet but and I also okay my kids are two and three and the three-year-old getting ready to be four so obviously he's going to have a better understanding of this. And while Weston may need help with his chores, his chores more so, or um, have easier chores per se, like things he already does, but now it'll be a part of his chore chart, his jobs. Um, I think this will set him up nicely for as he gets older. So also something that comes with it is age appropriate chores. So for two to three year olds, pick up toys and books, dust, put away silverware, help make, sorry, I'm spitting, help, okay, put away silverware, help make the bed, put dirty clothes in hamper, load clothes in washer or dryer, which that won't be my kids' jobs for a while because they're downstairs, pick up, put away books and toys, I said that up there, feed the pet, brush the pet, clean their own plate. So I may adapt some of these and then it has some for like a four and five, six and eight, nine and 12 year old. So that is actually pretty handy. And then it has some tips to get your kids to do chores. Use the reward system, uh, set a time limit for the chore to be complete, which I actually do have a timer that when you turn it, the like say you wanna give them 15 minutes, that section of time is red and then the red disappears as it counts down. They really have been enjoying that, like cleaning up their toys um, every day. Their reward has been one little M&M. Uh, choose use chores don't use chores as punishment uh, expose your kids to chores as early as possible make chores fun build chores into your daily routine be consistent offer praise and be specific work together as a family make sure you're choosing age appropriate chores so I'm gonna keep this little page and so I'm not going to put this up until I get Stevens because Stevens won't be here till Friday. I don't know why they shit so differently. Um, but I'm going to put these low down on the fridge. So I'm actually going to wait and fill these in with the boys so that, look at that. This just came out of the box and already I have to super glue that back on. Fail. Anyway, I guess that's not the biggest deal. It kind of sucks though. Are the rest of them like that? No. 
But anyway, this is something else we're going to start working on. And like I said, Stevens is the exact same thing. It's just that the theme is superheroes. So his will be here on Friday. And if these were expensive, I'm not going to lie. These were like $15 a piece. But they looked durable, <clears throat> reusable, and the themes made them excited. Because I, like I said, I let them pick out their themes. Now I'm excited to get Stevens and get him on the refrigerator because he was excited. He was super excited. I'm hoping his excitement will translate on to Weston. And Weston will be excited too. So like you can check off every day and look, they look like the little caution signs and then you write down your point. I wonder how they do that. I don't know. Hold on. It'll be a learning process, but I think it's a good start. <laughs> 